Now, hospitals all across the state are having to make tough calls like these for several reasons. The COVID spread, limited space, and a shortage of nurses. Simply put, after a year and a half of fighting COVID-19, they're tired. They're stretched thin. Stephanie Whitfield explains exactly what's happening. Many Houstonians are concerned, watching COVID-19 numbers sharply rise again. Kevin McFarlane has a front row seat to what doctors call the fourth wave of the pandemic. You know, healthcare workers throughout the country are tired. We're, uh, we're working hard. Well, while the, the, while the city is debating about masks, we're just trying to make sure that we're keeping everybody safe when they come through those doors. McFarlane is part of the Houston Emergency Nurses Association. Not only are ER nurses exhausted, they're also short staffed. He says many are leaving local hospitals to make more money as travel nurses. It's one of many factors contributing to a shortage of nurses at several area hospitals. What I think we're seeing is I think we're seeing some people who are, who are leaving nursing as a profession. I think we're seeing a little bit of that. Um, and I think we're seeing lots of nurses who are real tired. Um, so I think some of them are opting for, for different positions. Positions with lower risk of exposure. That COVID fatigue is something we can all relate to. This ER nurse asks everyone to act like they did last year, because from his perspective, not much has changed. COVID is still a problem, and, and there's a lot of folks that, that think that maybe it's not, and, and it's just not true. We're still seeing, we're still feeling COVID here in, in the emergency department particularly.